What's going on? It's your big bro, Tran Genius. You tuned in again to another exclusive video. If you was compelled to click this video, then I'ma just tell you, you probably on the verge of receiving a major breakthrough really, really soon. Again, if you decided to watch this video, you didn't even know this video was gonna come up today, but you probably about to receive a major breakthrough, even as we speak right now, all right? So listen close to these, this quick video, listen to these four, actually five signs that you about to receive a major breakthrough, okay? So take notes, comment below, and let me know what sign resonated with you, all right? The first sign that you're about to receive a major breakthrough is attack on your finances. I don't know what your situation is. I don't know what you're going through. But if you're in a financial bind right now where it's like you're having trouble with, with getting money or making money or you're having trouble with work, okay, I'm going to just tell you, you're probably about to receive a major breakthrough, especially if you try it the best you can, all right? But see, here's the good news. You don't need money in order to get a breakthrough, all right? A lot of people think they need money and they need currency in order to make things happen. That's not true. The only thing you need is to continue to persevere and have faith. God is the one who's going to give you the provisions. He's going to give you the resources. He's going to bring the right people around you if that's what you need. You're going to get what you want, okay? But it might seem like you can't do what you want right now because you think that since you don't have the money, you're not going to get a breakthrough. That's not true. If it's a tech on your finances right now, then you are definitely on the verge of a major breakthrough. And I'm about to give you some scripture to go along with it. Um, so it's a scripture. It's a scripture here. And the scripture is in Psalms 34. This is what it says. It says the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and he saves the crushed in spirit. OK, another scripture that is Jeremiah 33 chapter 33 verse 3 it says call to me and i will answer you and i will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known so basically what god is saying is if you're going through a situation right now and you can't do what you need to do it seems like you're back against the wall no no, no blessings is coming to you coming to you or nothing you just everything is at a standstill everything is at a hope no matter how hard you try you just cannot you cannot seem to get over the hump well, I'm here to tell you, God said, if you call to me, I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not, ye have not known. Psalms 147 verse three, it says he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So that's the first sign that you about to receive a breakthrough is you have a problem with uh, prosperity right now, or, you know, you just don't have the provisions in order to do what you want to do. Number two. You start to feel like you're losing your mind, okay? Anytime you're on the verge of breakthrough or when, you, when you're getting close to a breakthrough, it feels like you're exhausted. It feels like you're tired. You know, it's almost the equivalent of being out of breath if you're running a marathon or something. You just, no matter how, how, no matter how hard, how fast you run, you just cannot get to the finish line. And it just feels like it's overwhelming right now. It feels like you want to give up, all right? If you feel like you just want to throw in the towel and you want to give up, on your journey because you wondering what does this mean why am i going through this why do i feel like this today if you feel like the scriptures say if you feel like you have you're in a bad position god said he will bind up your wounds for you he know what you're going through okay he see what you're going through okay another scripture says uh isaiah chapter 25 verse 4 it says for you have been a stronghold to the poor and a stronghold to the needy in distress, a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heart. So basically, God is like, I know you're going through a tough time. I know it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But listen, I told you, it's okay. God about to save you. He about to give you a breakthrough. He about to give you double for your trouble. Comment below right now and say, I'm about to get double for my trouble if you're going through a tough time right now. All right? That's the second sign. The third sign you're about to receive your breakthrough is, is, is one of the most obvious signs. If you isolated, if you alone right now, you don't have real people to call on. You can't go to your phone and call somebody to, to support you or nothing. There's nobody to lean on. Well, listen, 
I'm telling you, it's like that for a reason. God got people away from you. God have disconnected people away from you because he want to get the glory. He want to get the praise because that's the only one you can depend on right now, right? Comment below and say, I got God even though nobody else is with me, okay? That's the that's the third sign you're about to receive a breakthrough is when it seems like everybody just go away from you. You don't have nobody that, that's, that's there with you right now. You've been doing things on your own. You by yourself right now even probably, all right? Well, listen, that means that you're about to receive a breakthrough. See, most of the time, people think that since they don't have no friends or that they're isolated, that nobody likes them. No, what's happening is you're being protected, okay? See, God don't want to have people in your life who don't deserve to experience your breakthrough. You see what I'm saying? So he won't have certain people around you that you care about the most, okay? Because maybe they're not pleasing him. So when you get this breakthrough, you won't have to worry about sharing it with nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's yours. Comment below and say, it's mine. It's my breakthrough, okay? That's one thing you got to understand. God is a jealous God. He don't want certain people in on what he got for you because you the one that he want to give it to. So if you're in an isolated situation right now where it feel like nobody's around, good job. Keep up the good work because you're doing something right. All right. Now, this is another sign, which is on the contrary of the one I just gave you. This can happen, too. If you're going through a situation right now where it seems like people are trying to get close to you, people trying to connect with you. People trying to chime in on you. People eavesdropping. People trying to sit next to you and try to chop it up with you. Try to be your friend and stuff. That can also be a sign too if you're going through that right now. Comment below and say, you talking about me, big bro. People been trying to like link up with me. People been trying to chill out with me. People been trying. Anytime you got, um, anytime you got something coming good for you, all right, sometimes people can sense it. Okay, sometimes people can smell it, you know. It's like it's like uh it's like pollen to a bee, you know. It's like people want to buzz around you because they smell the the good blessings about to come your way. Okay? But you got to be careful. You can't associate yourself with everybody. Again, it's best to be alone. It's best to do your own thing and to walk your own path. Okay? Because you about to receive a major breakthrough. All right? I don't know who this video is for, but um the fifth sign that you're about to receive a major breakthrough. Well, I'm going to just let you figure out what the fifth sign is by comment below. Are there any signs or things that's happening to you right now that signifies that you're going through a breakthrough? All right. And before you leave on that note, I'm going to go ahead and give you another scripture right here. If you look, if you're expecting your breakthrough. OK, Hebrews chapter 11, verse one, it says now faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen. Even though you can't see how you're going to get your breakthrough, that don't mean it's not, it's not coming. You watching this video, ain't you? Okay, so it's a confirmation. See, this stuff is not happening by your might. Okay, you can only do but so much and go but so far. If you if living right by God, if you doing his work, his will, and you putting forth the effort behind closed doors while nobody is watching, you will be rewarded for your faith. It says it right there in the scripture. Now, faith is the assurance of things hoped for in the conviction of things not seen. You can't see it, but your faith is being calculated. You, you understand? Last but not least, give you another scripture real quick. Um, for everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome, that has overcome the world, our faith. Again, it's talking about faith. OK, so this is what it's all about. If you've been believing, you're going to get this major breakthrough, even though it don't look like it. You might not stay in the right environment. You might not have a job right now. You might be struggling. I don't care what it is. OK, it's in the scripture right there. If you keep believing and if you receive this message in this video, if you comment below and say, I received this, this message in this video, big bro trend, I received my breakthrough. I'm, on, I'm about to get it. Comment below right now and speak it into existence and, and tell God, say, God. I'm ready for my breakthrough, and I guarantee you he'll answer your prayer. It's just that simple. So, again, comment below a fifth sign of something that you're going through right now that everybody else can read that they might be confirmed that they're going to receive their breakthrough because of what your sign is, all right? So, it's your big bro trend, man. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with somebody. 
so you can be a blessing to somebody today. And make sure you get this video a thumbs up, okay? It's your big bro, Trend Man. I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe. Peace.